Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing you how you can create a dynamic to-do list in Excel workbook. All right, so these are some action items for me, and I'm just gonna put myself as the owner. And let's say you actually put the status as completed. You probably don't wanna see this completed item in this list, so you probably wanna move this over to the completed items tab. Instead of actually highlighting it and doing a control X to cut and paste it into completed item, let's actually see how we can make it dynamic. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to developer, and let's say if you don't have developer enabled, in a Mac, what you wanna do is you wanna go to Excel, preferences, view, and then you wanna select developer tab within the in ribbon show. If you have a Windows machine, you probably wanna to go to file, options, and developer tool should be a box that you wanna check on there. So so once you have that enabled, you will get this tab. You wanna go ahead and select that. And then we are going to write two Visual Basic code. So let's go ahead and select the Visual Basic option. And then what we are going to do is we are going to select the title, VBA Project Book 2, and then right click on it, and then do Insert Module. And within there, you wanna go ahead and paste this code which is going to be in my website. That's gonna be in the description below. So just to kind of give you a highlight, let's say you don't have the same tab name as this. You wanna make sure you change those names appropriately in all over the script. So once you have that pasted in the module one, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and open up sheet one action items and double click that. When you double click it, you should see an empty space here. And then you wanna go ahead and paste the second portion of this code. Both of the functions are completely separate from each other. So you wanna make sure you copy and paste appropriately. Once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and close this. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to save this Excel. So let's go ahead and do command S. And when you do it, you will get the file format. You want to make sure you're selecting Excel macro enabled workbook. You want to name it appropriately. I'm just going to call it YouTube action items and then just hit save. Now let's see if your VBA is actually working. So I'm going to go ahead and type in completed on the status and you can see that completed item just bend away from our first tab. And if I go to the completed items tab, you can see that row coming up here. So I'm gonna do this again for the second one. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in completed for the uh, create the video option. And just like that, it bend away. Let's say you're actually collaborating with other people and you don't want them to type in complete and then for that script not to work. So the way you can get around that headache is by simply creating a validation rule. So to create validation rules, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a plus new sheet. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the end and just rename this as validation rules. The naming of this tab really doesn't matter, but just to keep things clean and tidy, I'm gonna name it as such. Then I'm gonna to go to my action items and then just going to do command shift and down so it can highlight all of the rows. And then in the data tab, you wanna go ahead and select the data validation option. And then you will get this allow any value. You wanna go ahead and select list. And then for the source, you wanna go ahead and click that button on the corner, choose the validation rules tab, and then select these options as your drop down, And then you wanna hit the uh, icon here here on the corner, hit OK. So you will never have to worry about someone mistyping complete instead of completed and automatically that goes to the completed items tab. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.